basis of movement and body awareness. So today I'm going to just do a quick little exercise that helps release the waist. Um, a lot of us carry a lot of tension in our waist, especially as we get older and we don't release the waist. You should have two to three fingers in between your last rib cage and your top of your hip bones. A lot of us don't have that anymore and we're compressed. So we're gonna do an exercise today that helps release the waist. And we're gonna break it down. Um, feel free to join me from either your mat or I often do this right before bedtime. It helps not only release the waist, but if you have a tension pattern, that involves um, a trauma side reflex. Maybe you've injured something on one side of your body at one point. That could be a shoulder, that could be a knee, an ankle, basically anything where you've had to compensate on one side in order to protect that side of the body. You might have a little bit of a torso twist going on. So this exercise seems very simple. It can also be very challenging. A lot of us have lost sensation to our waist. We have sensory motor amnesia. We're not connected to where our waist is anymore. We have no sensation. So part of this is just doing it over and over again so that you regain that connection to your body, you regain that sensation. You might also notice if you have a torso twist or some um, reflex that's going on, a trauma reflex that involves um, one side of the body or the other, you're going to maybe notice that this feels different on one side. Maybe it's going to feel, you're going to sense it right in the appropriate place in your waist on one side. You might on the other side feel it in the front part of your waist. You might feel it in your back part of your ribs, your low, low part of your ribs. Take note of these different sensations on the different sides and also notice while you're doing this how that might change. It might start out that you're sensing it in the back or in the front and by the time you're done, you're able to be reconnected with the appropriate part of the waist and the muscles that should be working are working if they have been dormant and the other muscles that have taken over are going to get a little bit of a break, okay? So let's go ahead and begin. Um, if you know that you have a tighter side, one side is tighter than the other, end on your tighter side. So we'll begin on the, quote, easier side. For me, I'm going to begin lying on my right side so that I'm working with my left side first because my right side is the tight side. So I'm gonna work with that side last. So let's go ahead and let lie on the right side of the body if that's good for you. And lying on um, either your arm, your right arm stretched out if that's comfortable for you, or you can put a pillow or um, something under your head if that feels better. And bringing your knees up to about a 90 degree angle from your body so it's like you're sitting in a chair but on the floor. And you wanna make sure that your head isn't, you're not looking at your knees and you're not looking way up here. You're just looking straight out. So just keeping this posture in mind. If you're not using the top hand, it can either be resting in front of you, it can also rest alongside of you, just work. You can also use the top hand, <clears throat> especially when we're doing the, the bottom part of this, just to help reconnect you with your waist. So you can use it to actually sense the part that we're working on. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the top part of the body. The left hand, palm is going to go behind the head. Then the elbow is pointing toward the ceiling. So the elbow's not here, the elbow's not way back. The elbow is straight up. And again, you're looking straight out. So let's inhale. And then as you exhale, let's just curl up using the top part of the body. You might not go very far. Again, not going to a place of pain. And just notice if you're able to sense what's working here and what's not working. And then we're gonna slowly release. I'm gonna count to eight. Go ahead and start your journey on the way down. One, two, three. As you're doing this, try to relax everything that doesn't need to help. Five, six, seven, 
bottom of the movement, you can release your hands. You can sort of roll back and forth a little bit to reset. We want the movement to be new each time. That helps the brain make the new connections. So let's go ahead and do that again. As you're doing this, just noticing where you can relax each time and soften in the body. Inhaling at the, the bottom of the movement and curling on the exhale up. You're not putting any pressure on the back of the head or the neck. And you're really just trying to see if you can utilize this waist to help you curl up and then slowly coming back down. Noticing if you're putting a lot of pressure on this right arm, just trying to relax that. Coming back down to the count of eight, relaxing everything. And when you come back down, just releasing. Let's do that top part one more time. Palm behind the head. Again, just making sure everything is 90 degrees and you're looking straight out and the elbows pointed toward the ceiling, no pressure on the back of the head. Inhaling at the bottom. Exhaling and curling up. So the elbow is going slightly toward the hip bones. No, noticing where you're sensing this. If you're sensing it in the waist or in the back or the front part of the ribs. And then just coming back down slowly. One, two, make sure that you're still breathing. No special breath on the way down. We're going slow. Four, five, seven, eight. Releasing everything at the bottom of the movement. All right, we're gonna do the bottom part of this movement now. So the top part can relax. So this is where you can maybe just put your left arm in front of you. <clears throat> we're gonna keep the knees together. We're gonna be lifting with the outside edge of the left foot toward the left heel. So on the, on the ankle part, ankle side of the left foot. And I want you to see if you can feel that movement when we lift, traveling up through the leg, and just see how far you can feel it. And if you can feel it all the way into the waist, you're welcome to use your top hand also to connect here. <clears throat> so we're gonna keep the knees together. And let's go ahead and start to lift that left heel away from the right, keep, keeping the knees together. And seeing where that movement happens for you in the body. Not going to a place of pain or outside of your limit. You might only go just a little tiny bit in the air. And then coming back down slowly. One, two, three, four. Seeing if you can relax the right side of your body that you're leaning on. Six, seven, eight. When you reach the bottom of the movement, relaxing everything completely. Let's try that again. Inhaling at the bottom of the movement and then exhaling and starting to lift that left outer edge of the heel away from the right foot. Keeping everything on the right relaxed as possible and into the mat. It doesn't need to help you make this movement. And then go ahead and letting everything come back down. Letting that left leg come back down slowly, slowly. Making sure you're still breathing. Relaxing completely at the bottom of the movement. You feel free to roll a little bit if that feels good to you back and forth, if you need to do that to reset. And then we're gonna put that movement together. So again, just checking in with your posture, making sure that the knees are about 90 degrees, making sure that the head is not nodding too far down or too far up, that the chin is parallel, or I'm sorry, perpendicular to the chest, but parallel to the, to the thighs. Let's go ahead and put that left palm behind the head gently, letting the left elbow come up toward the ceiling. Taking an inhale here at the bottom. And as you exhale, let's go ahead and curl both 
the left leg and then the left elbow toward each other, keeping the knees together, just curling by the edge of the foot, and then slowly, slowly coming back down. Now the trick here as we're on our way down is usually one side likes to go faster than the other, either the top half or the bottom half of the body. So just trying to smooth it out and trying to keep the top half and the bottom half going at the same pace. Relaxing at the bottom of the movement for a moment. And then we'll repeat that a couple more times. Noticing again, if you can sense your waist when we're doing this, you might close your eyes oftentimes going as internally as you can by closing the eyes can really help you determine exactly where this movement and the tension is happening in the body slowly coming back down smoothing everything out making sure you're still breathing keeping everything as soft as possible Trying to let the top half and the bottom half of the body meet the mat at the same time and then relaxing at the very bottom. We'll do one more on this side and then we're going to move to the right side. Inhaling at the bottom, exhaling and curling up. Again, just going as far as feels comfortable to you. You might notice that by the third time and then start to gently come back down. Maybe you're a little more connected than you were before we began to the waist. Maybe things are feeling slightly different. And then relaxing when you get down to the bottom and then making your way onto the other side of the body, however you'd like to do that. So whether that's rolling on your belly or coming up, however you'd like to do that. <clears throat> now, if this is your tight side, you're going to definitely notice differences. And um, if you're at home and you would like to break it down, please feel free to do that and break that movement down. I am, for the sake of time, we're going to just do the full movement on the right side. So pretending like we've already done the top part and connected to the bottom part, let's go ahead and take that right palm and put it behind the right head, no pressure against the back of the head or the neck, just gently. Making sure that the chin is perpendicular to the body and parallel to the thighs. Making sure that those legs are up at a 90 degree position like you're sitting in a chair. And inhaling here at the bottom. And as you exhale, start to peel up toward the elbow, toward the hip, and outer edge of the right foot toward the elbow. I invite you to close your eyes. Just coming up for a moment before you begin the journey back down and I'm going to count one, two, making sure you're still breathing, three, see if you can soften on the left side, four, make sure there's no pressure on the back of the head, Five, six, seven, eight, and then relaxing at the bottom. I invite you to take your top arm away from the back of the head. This time, as we curl up, I want you to keep your focus on the right side of the waist, but also just notice what's happening on the, on the left side of the body. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's inhale here. And as you exhale, start to curl up. Remember keeping the knees together, leading with the right edge, outer edge of the right foot and that elbow. Notice as you're curling on the right side and contracting, the left side of the body is maybe getting a little bit longer. It's, it's going a little bit harder into the mat. So it's like an accordion. One side of the body is contracting, the other side is actually expanding. And now go ahead and let everything come back to the ground. And as you do that, 
keeping your focus on your right side of your waist, but also notice how the left waist is now coming back away from the floor. Everything's coming back to neutral. Relax when you get when your feet and your head come back to the ground. So now just keeping that visual, let's do it one more time of the accordion. So as you contract on the right side and you're bringing things up on the right and your focus is on the waist, the left side of the body is expanding like a bellow. So let's go ahead and do this one more time, inhaling. Exhaling. Filling up. If you notice any tension in the hip flexors or the front part of the legs, just again, keep and relax everything. And then start to come back down. One, two, smoothing things out. Three, four, relaxing that neck. Eight. And when you're done, you can stretch your legs out and roll either onto your back or onto your belly, whichever you prefer today. And if you did roll onto your belly to come out of the side movement, let's go ahead and make our way onto our back like we did at the beginning. And Taking a moment here. Noticing the contact of the body against the ground. Noticing any sensations going on in the body. Noticing how relaxed everything might feel. to make your way up to an easy seated pose. Thank you guys for joining me today. I absolutely love giving out these um, short tips and little exercise sets with somatics. It has been my game changer. I hope to see you guys at a live Zoom class soon or um, at maybe an in-person event. We do have a retreat coming up in February. So anyway, I hope to um, hear from you. If you have any questions or have any feedback, just let me know. Samba move at gmail.com. S-O-M-B-A, Samba. All right, lovelies. I hope you have a good rest of your day or if you're heading into um, sleep, I hope you have a restful sleep. Namaste.